So, Obi-Wan, this is where the fun begins. Just watch out for those wrist rockets. There are too many of them. What are we going to do? This is where the fun begins. How's it going? Welcome back to another great video with the majestic host, the Savior. And it feels absolutely amazing to be back in my original habitat, my setup. Um, if you're not aware, I've been kind of sick for the last week, but I'm back with regular videos, so rest assured, if you are new, do consider subscribing, but no long BS intro with this one, let's just jump straight into this. If you know, you know, okay, because Star Wars Battlefront, these games, okay, are the pinnacle of gaming. Extending the supers! Watch those wrist rockets! And... Yes, that might be a little bit of nostalgia talking, but I grew up on these games, and I know many of you grew up on these games as well, okay? I played the hell out of them on the PS2, probably this and Star Wars Episode 3, the PS2 video game, were my most played games back on the PS2, when Star Wars was still Star Wars. Before it got Mickey D'd right up the rectum, okay? When Star Wars was still about creative and original ideas. Pretty neat, huh? How would you like to have one? I can get those at Kmart. The EA executives must be running scared, because now we have the definitive Star Wars experience. <laughs> And we're gonna come for you, EA. Mickey Mouse, please don't come and molest me, okay? I, 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 I swear, your, your Star Wars content is still peak, even though it looks like literally a student film. But, you know, Obi-Wan Kenobi show, that, that was good, okay? That was high quality content. I'm gay. So yes, I'm going to be giving you the Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection review, okay? And I just have to say that this game will blow you away if you've never played it before. But I'm sure a lot of people have played this. Um, and I am very excited about this game, but I am also pretty disappointed because so much more could have been done here to make this truly, you know, stand out and pay absolute love and tribute to this game. I do hope you enjoy this Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection review. I have Womp Rat AIDS. Basically what I hope to cover in this video is asking the question and giving you an answer, is Star Wars Battlefront for classic collection worth buying? Is this actually worth the money? Because yes, this is an old game. This is, you know, 20 years old almost at this point, uh, which is pretty insane, makes me feel very old myself. Um, but this is an old game and they haven't actually really done anything to it, except upscale it. And they have added a little bit of quality to it. Um, now, reflections and stuff like that, they just look better. But that also could just be down to upscaling and the 4K nature and all that stuff. They could have done so much more to make this better. Um, the first person mode is also a lot better than on release, especially if you compare it to the console versions of the game and stuff like that. But let's just talk about all of this, okay? Now, remember, this is coming from the day and age when games were being created by actual gamers, not mega corporations just trying to make a quick buck. But sadly, with this collection, it does feel like a bit of a cash grab. And, you know, I'm so excited for this. I absolutely love Star Wars, the original Battlefront games. So, of course, I'm happy that we have an excuse to play this again. And especially since I never actually experienced true multiplayer because I grew up on the PlayStation 2 and I think many of you are like that. Uh, you know, playing online back in those days was actually very difficult. You had to buy like all these kind of different add-ons to your console to play online. So I never played online and having 64 players versus 64 players uh, on these old maps in this game is going to be amazing. So it is worth it, I think, because um, you know, you get to experience that and a whole host of other reasons which I've detailed here, but um, I do believe 
it is still a cash grab. We can acknowledge that this is a great game and this is something that we've always wanted, but still acknowledge the fact that yes, this is a cash grab. Don't ask questions. Just consume product and then get excited for next product. They haven't done anything except upscale an old game package them together when literally these games are like worth you know a couple of dollars or something nowadays um but they're packaging it to sell you uh on nostalgia pretty much um but luckily the nostalgia is too strong with this one so i give it a pass sounds an awful lot like a dictatorship to me well if it works I hope you are enjoying this Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection review and please do stick around until the end of the video because I have some exciting news about this game that you might not know about um, which is going to be a big deal so stick around until the end of the video but I just want to say if you are new to the channel which is pretty likely please do consider subscribing because it just means absolutely everything to me I put all that I am into this channel, into my content. I try and make the best possible videos that I can. I'm so passionate about this community, so please become a wise one and join us here. If you like gaming content, looking back at older games and uh, philosophical videos, I blend the two together, video games and philosophy, and uh, yeah, that's what this channel's all about. So if you're new, consider subscribing. We're getting so close to 10K and having you join us just would be amazing. Join this empire today and leave a comment down below because interacting with you is the highlight of all of this. That's why I do it. So thank you for watching my video. Please do give it a like because that helps for YouTube magical robots that control my very existence and my livelihood every single day. That would mean a lot and consider supporting me by dropping a thanks or a small donation because as a independent channel, that's how you can you know support me and it just means the world even just subscribing, so thank you. The force is strong with this one. When I first saw this announced, I was pretty disappointed, to be honest, because I thought, okay, so they're gonna remaster the best game ever made, pretty much, so I was happy about that. And then I looked into it, and wait, this isn't a remaster. Okay, so is it a remake? No, it's not a remake either. It's literally just the original games. Uh, so, I am disappointed in that, and it's a little bit shocking that, you know, just gamers are blindly accepting, you know, these kind of price gouges these days, just because, you know, we miss good old games that were actually about gaming, not trying to be movie-length, uh, Hollywood cinematic, you know, hit pieces with political messaging in them. Uh, so, of course, we're happy that we can play this again, but still, we should expect a little bit of effort, you know, not just upscaling. This should have been a proper remake slash remaster. Something along the lines of Demon Souls remake, the Shadow of the Colossus remake, or pretty much any remake or remaster that still stays true to the original game. With that little rant out of the way, because I think it is important that we don't just accept blindly into this consumer culture of accepting whatever the overlords can give us. I am going to play this game and I can't wait to play it, but I'm going to stand by my morals and wait for a sale because we don't want to support a future where consumerism is so rampant and it's all just sold based on, you know, nostalgia and just things from the past. Don't ask questions, just consume product and then get excited for next product. And yes, this is based on an early playtest of the upscaled edition and of course playing it for ages myself on PC and getting all of the information on what's actually been added here so I can tell you exactly what to expect. So yes, the big positive here is it is 64 plus 64 massive multiplayer matches and being able to share this experience with people like me who grew up on these games, that's going to be an amazing experience. A small negative I have to say here is the fact that they did not add crossplay, which is a big letdown because this would be perfect for crossplay in my opinion and it would just make this game last even longer. Another positive here is the fact that this is ultimately the best 
edition of the game that you can get because not only is it updated visually slightly with being upscaled and all that stuff if you remember back in the day we used to get exclusive content for one console compared to the other console even though it was literally the same game because that's how exclusives kind of worked back then so there was added content only on the xbox edition which i never got to play like playing as kit fisto for example and uh, ventress and stuff like that uh, now you can play all of the heroes and one big positive here I have to highlight because this was not even in the base game at all no matter what you know version you were playing on this is important because I absolutely love heroes versus villains in these games they are just so much better compared to the janky combat of the new EA releases everything is fluid you can do all of these cool moves traversal is just crazy you can basically fly around these levels by jumping around and stuff like that it just it was awesome but you could only play on this one map okay just one map but now they've unlocked it so you can have these massive hero versus villains battle but on any map so that's like a child fantasy for me come to life and I can't wait to experience it so the next positive is we do get some added maps like Jabba's palace and stuff like that which is great um, so I'm looking forward to that. The reason I loved Star Wars Battlefront so much back in the day, and I think the reason many people do, is because it was the full package. Unlike EA or something like that that tries to, you know, separate and segregate the fan base and just make it all behind a paywall, this gave you everything. It gave you massive space battles, it gave you split screen, you know, gameplay and galactic conquest, which was the best, okay? Instant action and story modes. And like I said, you know, you could relive the, you know, big moments in Star Wars history like Anakin versus Obi-Wan, uh, you know, playing as heroes versus villains and stuff like that. It was the full package and they even had little bonus little gems in there like playing as the Jawas versus Tusken Raiders and stuff like that. And I do believe that mode is back where you get to play as Jawas and Ewoks, but now it's across different planets, um, Tusken Raiders, all of that good stuff, you know, the ultimate... War zone in Star Wars, you know, having all of these different alien creatures come together. The next massive positive, okay, and this is the biggest one. And if you know, you know, okay, <laughs> you know, Galactic Conquest, okay. This was the best game mode ever conceived, okay. It was like a combination of the board game Risk, but with Star Wars Battlefront, okay. I don't know why EA are so useless and just, uh, I don't know, they're just so corporate. They can't see, you know, what actually makes a fun gameplay experience. But Galactic Conquest was so good. They could have made Star Wars Battlefront for, you know, re-releases over the years much better if they just integrated that mode. Because it was such a cool game mode where you're literally taking over the whole galaxy, you know, and it had tactical gameplay to it, at least in the second one, where you can, you know, choose where to allocate your resources, your credits, if you win a battle, you know, you can get more troops, and then in the battle itself, you can call in for reinforcements, you can reinforce them by giving them more health, like back to tanks and stuff like that, uh, it was just so awesome, and then if you, you know, had enough, you could literally just, like, obliterate uh, a planet in the first game and stuff like that it was just so cool and then if the two ships meet and you're playing on split screen you know you're both controlling your own ships and they meet over the same planet then a space war will commence and you actually have to fight the other person's ship and you can actually go into the ship and then destroy their ship from the inside i mean it was incredible it was so good why has modern day gaming forgot about that you know that's gameplay it's not a cinematic quick time event that's fucking gameplay and oh my god, it was so good. I'm sorry, but it was so good, and it's back. Galactic Conquest was just so good. It had such a cool sim-like experience to it, where, like I said, you know, you can choose to spend money on new classes, uh, you know, in your, in your repertoire of troops. You could get reinforcements. You could call in for a hero to support you. All of this stuff, and it was all very tactical. And sometimes these Galactic Conquest games would go on for ages, so basically, if you never played Star Wars Battlefront before, what do you actually do? Well, the main game mode is your, you know, basically like Battlefield today, you're basically capturing points, okay? You know, you see these little holograms, and basically you have to stand next to them and clear out the enemies until that point is yours. That's the main game mode, but it never gets boring because 
of all of the added gameplay components to this game, you know, like I said, with the different classes, having an actual war where every person actually counts and it matters, uh, you know, when you hunt down that last person, it's just so satisfying. It's such a good game. It's crazy to me that this game still trumps most AAA releases now. Um, it just kind of shows you that graphics, having, you know, being obsessed with fidelity, that's kind of ruined creativity in the gaming landscape and we just need to care more about fun gameplay um but finally we're getting back to that so i think a lot of people are going to be excited for this and the final positive in both modes there is a story mode um you know battlefront 1 follows the movies and then battlefront 2 you follow the 501st legion you know anakin squad until he becomes Lord Vader, and it's really cool. It's just got good quality voice acting, the classic original music that never gets old. And now, like I said, there are new maps, and all of the content that you might have missed is back, but it's not that much, to be honest. But it's just the fact that we can play this again and play it online now. That's going to be an amazing experience. Don't get me wrong, okay? This Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection review is very positive because, like I said, it's just the original game, but now you get all of the content that you might have missed. Um, so, of course, I'm very positive on it. And like I said, we should get this, but maybe just wait for a slight price drop unless if you're, you know, happy to do that. But a small thing that does get on my nerves is they could have just added a little bit to it to make it a little bit more modernized. Like I said, you know, maybe make it a bit more of a remaster. And they could have taken some elements of the later Star Wars Battlefront games. Like, for example, the one on PSP. I'm sure not many people are going to remember this, but I'm a massive Battlefront fan. The, you know, original Star Wars games. And the PSP had such a cool feature where basically um, you could actually transition from ground combat into space, if they somehow integrated that as a new gameplay mechanic, um, maybe that would have been difficult to do, but it would have made this game even more, like, just seamless um, and amazing and a, a little bit more modernized, and that would just make it the perfect Battlefront game. They could have just pushed it a little bit more, but as it is, I'm just glad that this exists, and I hope you enjoyed this Star Wars Battlefront classic collection review so to answer the question is star wars battlefront classic collection worth buying yes yes it is but bear in mind that you should uh you know vote with your money and that we shouldn't support price gouges we should maybe maybe wait for a sale to show support that you know of course this is good but we don't want you know just future games to be basically releases of older games um, with no added bonuses, really. Um, so just be careful about that. But I am, of course, very happy about this. Uh, if you've never played it before, then you are in for a treat. Please do not care about the graphics because the gameplay here is far superior to most games nowadays. Uh, just give it a try. But yes, I do think this game is worth it and I cannot wait to play it. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. I was really excited to make this because I'm just passionate about this game. I love this game so much. So many childhood memories. It's just a full package. It doesn't care about telling, you know, like a cinematic story. This is all about gameplay. It's all about, you know, giving you the freedom and simulating what battles would be like in that universe and then giving you tactical gameplay with Galactic Conquest. That's what we need more of. Uh, games that actually innovate and respect your intelligence so you can have these wacky moments where you're fighting as Jawas versus Tusking Raiders and stuff like that. Knowing what makes this media good in the first place. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Have a great day. Peace out.